good morning, Seattle Kraken fans. Glad to have you along again here for a game day edition of Morning Cup of Kraken. A special Pride Night preview for tonight's game between the visiting Calgary Flames and your Seattle Kraken. I'm going to catch you up on everything happening with the Kraken and take you around the league in about 10 minutes or less with all the latest NHL info. Start off your day, start off your weekend the right way. Bringing you today's episode once again from the Sasquatch studio. I'm your host, Mike, also known as Seattle Sasquatch. That's at Sasquatch NHL on Twitter if you're following over there. Really glad to have you guys here listening or watching, starting off your day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if this is your first time dropping by the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Helps me grow the channel, and I always appreciate the support from you guys. So let me know in the comments where you're listening from. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. So we've got 10 minutes on the timer. Want to get to it? Don't want to waste any time right here on today's edition of Morning Cup of Kraken. So the Kraken coming off of that win in Chicago just the other night, 2 to nothing. Really great game. Philip Grubauer with 29 saves, got that shutout. The German gentleman looked amazing in net, really timely saves throughout the evening. Uh, and the Kraken got that bounce back win. They played a much better game, a lot more offensive presence and pressure. And uh, just really a lot of hard work throughout the game finally paid off. Some really good back checking throughout. I thought they limited uh, Chicago's chances. They were really pretty clean in their own end, good exits, and fed their breakouts and transition really well throughout the night. So the Kraken get that big win right at the end of that two game uh, quick road trip. So they're heading home tonight to play Calgary and maybe we can string another win together. Overall, I thought the Kraken played a pretty balanced game throughout. Uh, Chicago kind of got their engines rolling a little bit later in the game and had a, uh, a little bit of a push in the second and third period. But again, Philip Grubauer stood tall the whole night. He was your first star, 29 saves, didn't let any in. Alex Winberg, also a great game. He was your second star with one goal on the night. And Jordan Eberle had a goal and an assist. He was the third star, really played a great game as well. So coming into tonight, Saturday night, don't forget, it's a 4 p.m. Pacific time start. So if you're going out to Climate Pledge Arena, you want to get there early. I think the doors open at 2.30 p.m. Puck drop at 4 p.m. And they're going to do the pregame at the Armory as usual, 2.15 p.m. Should be a great night. Uh, they're going to also do a game day giveaway. Every guest attending tonight is going to get that free Pride Anchor Rally towel. So show up early, show up on time. Don't forget, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Kraken also going to be featuring those really cool warm-up sweaters that they announced earlier in the week, designed by local artist Glenn Rosenberg. Uh, some really cool shots there. Really nice look to them. Uh, so get out there to Climate Pledge Arena tonight. Enjoy all the festivities. Maybe grab one of those cool-looking warm-up jerseys. Get your giveaway uh, and settle in for what should be a really good game against the Calgary Flames tonight. A couple of headlines around the league now. We saw Austin Matthews score not only his 55th, but also his 56th goal. Uh, the 56th goal that he scored was in overtime, really dramatic fashion. He takes over the franchise record for goals scored up there in Toronto. Really amazing talent. And it's going to be really interesting to see how Toronto does as we head into the playoffs. Also news broke that Doug Wilson is going to be stepping down from the general manager role there in San Jose. So they're going to be doing an extensive search for a new GM down there in the Shark Land. Some of those really talented players now also coming out of Michigan after they lost in the Frozen Four. Owen Power signs his entry-level contract with the Buffalo Sabres. Kent Johnson also signs his entry-level contract with the Blue Jackets. And we kind of await news to see maybe when Matty Beneers... Maybe it's going to happen today. Maybe it's happening right now as we record this. That's usually the way it goes. So we'll keep an eye on that. Stay tuned over on Twitter for news there, and uh, we'll keep track of that for you. Going around the league, looking at the scores last night, some great games. Boston went into Tampa Bay. They got the game winner by Charlie Coyle in overtime. Florida beat the Buffalo uh, Sabres late in the game as well, 4-3. to three. And you saw Colorado also score. Game winner in overtime, Kale McCarr. They beat the Winnipeg Jets, dashing their playoff hopes 5-4. Carolina falls to the Islanders. Islanders having a little bit of a resurgence here late in the season, but I don't think it's going to be enough for them to make the playoffs. And then also that St. Louis-Minnesota game, possible playoff preview. Really amazing game. St. Louis gets the game winner from Robert Thomas. He's just on fire. They win it 4-3. So taking a quick look at the standings here, out in the east, you see Boston jump back into that third spot in the Atlantic. Tampa drops down into the first wildcard position. Looks like the Caps are probably going to stick around in that second wildcard position. I don't think they're going to catch 
uh, Pittsburgh and the Metropolis in there. And then you've got, obviously, Carolina and Florida at the top of their divisions. Should be really interesting. Toronto now starting to get a little bit of an edge. They're in the second spot in the Atlantic. Out west, you've got the Colorado Avalanche just motoring along 108 points. I don't know if anybody is going to catch them. They are playing really well. You've got Minnesota and St. Louis there in the 2-3 and three spot. Really interesting jockeying back and forth for positioning. That was a big win for St. Louis last night to try to move up in their standings. Out in the Pacific, Calgary coming into Seattle tonight. Still tops in the Pacific Division with 95 points. And the battle between Edmonton and Los Angeles in the 2-3 and three spot seems to be going Edmonton's way. They won in Los Angeles just the other night. Down in the wild card spot, it looks like Vegas is really trying hard to get in, but it's going to be really close. Dallas has the edge right now with 84 points, and Nashville sitting a little bit safer there in the in the first wild card spot. We'll see how that goes. Vancouver, hopes are fading slowly for them. They have 78 points and definitely on the outside looking in, so we'll have to see if they can have some sort of miraculous ending to the season to get in, but not looking good for them right now. So a quick look at today's games. Things get started early. New Jersey versus Dallas at 11 a.m. Pacific time. You've got Florida going against Nashville. Montreal and Toronto tonight. That's always fun. Columbus going into Detroit. The Islanders are going to take on the Blues. Colorado and Edmonton. That should be a good one. I think I'm going to try to watch that. Uh, you've got Capital the Washington Capitals and the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's always a really good game. Great matchup there. You've got Ottawa and New York. Of course, we talked about Calgary facing Seattle tonight in Seattle. Anaheim against Philadelphia. San Jose and the Canucks are going to face off in Vancouver. And Arizona goes into Vegas. Vegas trying to keep those playoff hopes alive. We'll see if they can get a win tonight against the Coyotes. So rounding things out tonight, again, Calgary coming in to Seattle. That 4 p.m. Pacific start time should be a good one. This is the third time these teams have faced each other this season with the Kraken losing both of the first two games. Calgary's got that lead in the Pacific. They're 43-19-9, a really great, well-balanced team this year. They've got great scoring. They've got great defense. And uh, hopefully maybe Gru can get another start tonight, maybe another shutout. That'd be amazing. So it should be a great game tonight. Try to make it out there or tune in on television, maybe listen on the radio. That's always fun, too. Uh, keep up with me over on Twitter. Try to get you all the latest news and notes for the lineup and all the line pairings as we go into tonight's game. This will be the first game of two games back-to-back -back against Calgary. This one in Seattle tonight. And then the next one, Tuesday, April 12th, up in Calgary as the Kraken go on another little road trip. So that's going to do it for this game day edition of your morning cup of Kraken. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a nice day. And as always, if you want to subscribe or like, it's much appreciated. It's going to be the last update from me for a few days. I've got a little bit of a road trip coming up here. So I'll talk to you later next week. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on another stream here sometime soon. Have a great day, guys.